Hello everyone, Viper or Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you my new Bishir, or Bishar, however you want to pronounce it, that I got today. Here he is. He's really friendly. Um, he will sometimes actually, he actually uh, will follow my finger. I got him earlier today. Sorry for the non-uploads lately, it's just not have really nothing really to upload. Um, and I really haven't gotten the time to make videos. Um, tomorrow, not tomorrow, I'll be making a video on how my, um, about my leopard gecko and update on him, on how he lost his tail. Yes, he did. Uh, I don't want too much hate. There was, no, I didn't scare him, but something happened. There will be an explanation story in that. Sort of like, uh, when my beta fish died. But yeah, uh, be underneath this rock, this basking dock, is um his favorite spot to hide, or behind this, two really good hiding spots. The reason this is pulled out was because this basking dock, as the suction cups, um won't stick all the way, so I just push this over there. Oh, you can sort of see his actual colors. He, I, what, he was somehow able to fit, and he went underneath this rock, which I have no way how, because it actually touches the ground. I did a 50% water change today on this tank. That's why it's so crystal clear. Uh, it's sort of perfect temperature. I'm going to have to get a heater, because that's up to 40 gallons. And this is a 55. This was for here, my 40-gallon tank, but... It's the only really turtle one I had, and the person we, I didn't know better, and the lady we got him from, the we I asked you, I asked her, it was at PetSmart, I asked her, hey, I said, hey, do you have any um, turtle tank heaters? And she said, well, you don't want a um, fish tank heater because it will burn your turtle, which was, I should have known better, but obviously not true. And I will have to get a new one for this one. But, yeah. I'm feeding him frozen brine shrimp. I am planning on getting um, two more. Possibly. Maybe. I was going to get a snowflake eel. But that was too expensive. <laughs> it's pretty expensive. I got them from Lori's Little Critters. They take pretty good care of their animals. And, yeah. They do know what they're talking about. They don't actually have much staff. What I find is surprising. I think there's only really one or two people that really work there. Yep, yeah, you can see she's going to her place. And I um the video was recording before. I might as well just show you. My guppy was giving birth. Sadly I just scarred the um photo, but yeah, I forget which guppy it was. It gave birth for the first time. Which I'm happy about. I'm gonna have to move that filter up and um, do what I did when I had my red wag platy was take the net and just tap the gravel because they they will hide in the gravel and put them into this. It's where I usually put my uh, baby babies. And yeah, it's my beta fish. Watch if I tap on the glass. See, look, I bring it up. There's my better fish. Watch, he'll come. Watch, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> See, he thinks I'm feeding him. He's so fat. See, look at him. He's so fat. Because I'm always feeding him. Probably the beta fish I've ha had the longest, definitely, is this one. The only thing I don't like about Lori's little critters is their crickets. They actually chirp. Because they're adult males. And yeah. Oh. Just, just my um, bearded dragon. He's sleeping. I actually had his lights turned off. But I turned them back on. <laughs> he will not go to sleep. Unless I'm asleep. I, I, I'm starting to notice that. Okay where is my Bashar. 
There he is. <laughs> if you have any name suggestions, put them down in the comments below. I will give you a shout out and uh, and that will be his new name. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.